Hey there, I'm Corey, the creator of SpeakFlow, and I want to walk you through a few features to get you started. Starting from the top here, we have this slider, and this lets you change the width of your script. And this is to make sure that your eyes aren't going too far left or right when reading. You can set your starting point in the script by clicking on a word. You'll see that it scrolls to that word and then puts a green line to indicate that that's now the starting point. So when you press start, it'll start from that point. Now let's go over the scroll modes. First, we have flow, which allows you to scroll using your voice. And then we have auto, which scrolls at a set pace. And then we have manual, which allows you to scroll using your mouse or your finger if you're using a touch device. And this is particularly useful if you're using remote mode to sync multiple devices. Next, you'll see some common tools from text editors. So you can change the line height. You can change the alignment. And you can change the font size. And you can also enter in a custom font size so you can really dial in whatever settings that you want. Now let's hop over to overlay. This feature allows you to set any window to the background of your script so that you can see your script and your audience at the same time. To use it, you click overlay, go to window and select the window that you want to put in the background. In this case, I have a Zoom example, but this could also be WebEx or any other video chat app. The last thing I want to show you is our guides and documentation. If you have any questions, you typically can find an answer here. And if you can't, feel free to reach out at team at speakflow.com and you'll get help from me or one of our support members. So thanks for using Speakflow and have fun.